Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to execute multiple Linux commands in a single line. And I will show you how to accomplish this using two different methods. So let's get started. So here I am on my desktop as you can see. And if I type my date command and I execute it, it will show me the date as you know from before. And if I type the cal command and execute it, it will show me the calendar. So, so far we have been executing our commands one at a time, as you can see. So here I'm executing my commands one at a time. However, you can execute multiple commands at the same time. So how can we do this? So here we are going to explain the first method, which is called the semicolon method. So in general, you can execute your first command and then you separate it by a semicolon. Here your second command, semicolon, and then etc. blah blah blah. Here will be your ends command. So this is the general format uh, if you want to execute uh, multiple commands. In this case, we have n commands at the same time using that semicolon method. So let's so let's examine this. So if I type date semicolon calendar uh, as you can see this will show me the date and the calendar all at once so uh, the semicolon is basically the same thing with using programming languages so if you know C++ you would know that um, uh, after after you're done with your statement you have to put a semicolon basically it's called like a statement separator so in C++ you can say something like this you can say integer x is equal to 3 and then semicolon integer y is equal to uh, 4 semicolon so this is valid in C++ and the same thing applies here you can have multiple statements on the same line in C++ and also you can have multiple commands on the same line in Linux okay awesome so let's uh, get more advanced here so if I type make directory numbers and then date and then calendar this will first uh, make a directory called numbers and then it will show me the date and then it will show me the calendar and you have to know that the ordering matters here so first I have my, my numbers directory, then it shows me the date, then it shows me the calendar, okay? And the, the order matters, so if you say date, semicolon, calendar, this, for, this will show you the, the date first and then the calendar. However, if you say calendar, semicolon, date, it, sh it will show you the calendar first and then it will show you the date. So here the order matters. Okay, you also have to know one thing when using the semicolon method. The semicolon method ignores all incorrect uh, commands or it actually ignores all typos and errors. So, so what do I mean by that? So if you say cal with an uppercase C-A-L, you know that this, this one is not valid, right? Command not found because our Linux commands are case sensitive. However, if you say this and then semicolon date, it will still show you the date. So it will tell you command not found for calendar, but uh, I will still show you the date. So as you can see, using the semicolon, it actually ignores all the errors, right? It will only it will only show you, or it will only execute the correct command. So let's do this. Let's do this one more time. If I have the cal the wrong way, and if I also have my date the wrong way, but I still say make directory numbers too so this will ignore the calendar and the date uh, or actually it will show you like uh, a command not found message but it will still execute the numbers too or it will actually create the numbers to directory so as you can see here command not found for the calendar command not found for the date but i still have numbers too created awesome so let's do one more example with, uh, uh, using the semicolon method I will create a file called uh, touch or, or sorry text with my touch command and I will move this uh, text file 
to my numbers and then I will show the date I will show the calendar and then I will and that that's it that's it okay so here I will create a file called text on my desktop but this file will not appear on my desktop because once I created it I will move it right away to my numbers directory and then I will show the date on the terminal and also I will show the calendar so let's execute this as you can see I have the date and the calendar here shown and if I open my numbers directory now I can see my text file moved into my numbers directory so this is kinda complex right because I created the text file and as long as I created it I already moved it to numbers to, to numbers directory so that's why you don't see the text file here because once I created it I moved it right away to my numbers directory so as you can see you can you can have a lot of fun when combine multiple commands at the same time okay I will I just uh, want you to guys one more thing before uh, discussing the second method if you have an exit command you know that exit will exit our our terminal right so uh, if you have an exit uh, when, uh, when you are combining multiple commands it will basically ignore everything after it so what do I mean by this so if I if you have make directory number three and then you have exit and then you have make directory numbers here I have to just say number three and then here number four numbers four and then here I have date and I have calendar so here I am creating a directory which is number three but however I am ex exiting the terminal and then I am creating a numbers four directory and I'm showing the date and the calendar so logically what will happen here is that here I will uh, this will uh, this will execute successfully right so I will be able to create my numbers three directory however once I exit my terminal there is no way that I'm able to create numbers four, show the date or the calendar so all these commands after the exit command will be just ignored so let's execute this as you can see only numbers three was created and numbers four, uh, numbers four was not created and of course you cannot see the date or the calendar when the terminal is, uh, is closed okay so this was the first method so let's now delete everything here that we just created and we discuss the second method now so the second method is very similar but it has just multiple differences so you can still combine multiple commands using uh, the second method which is the ampersand method or the double ampersand method so let's go to my desktop here and so uh, if you want to execute multiple commands uh, at once you can also use the double ampersand so this is the general format here will be your first command and then double ampersand second command double ampersand blah 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 all the way until your end command okay so as you can see the format is very similar uh, but here the difference is uh, uh, you just substitute a semicolon with an ampersand as you can see this is the difference here okay so let's try this and also the order matters as uh, with a, uh, just like the same case where uh, when we have the semicolon so here I, I'll just type date cal here I have my date shown and then the calendar as you can see and the order matters so if I type cal date it will show me the calendar first and then the date so the same thing uh, just like using the semicolon method but there is one fundamental difference that I want you guys I want to discuss with you guys okay so let's make a directory numbers and then date and then calendar right so this will just do the normal thing it will create numbers it will show you the date and show you the number uh, the calendar however I want you guys to know one fundamental difference here uh, so unlike unlike the semicolon method where it will only select the correct commands and ignore all the other ones here uh, it uses what we call uh, a short circuit evaluation you probably hear, heard this uh, ter uh, term if you are familiar with computer science or uh, with programming languages 
there is something called a short circuit evaluation. So basically, what is this? What this means is the double ampersand method will uh, execute just like normal until it encounters uh, an error and uh, after this error it will just ignore all the other commands that comes after it so what do i mean by this so if you type date the wrong way and then you type calendar the right way and you want to make a directory numbers too so if i execute this command here if i was using the semicolon method it will only select the good commands or the correct commands. So if I was using the uh, semicolon method, the calendar will be shown and numbers two will be created. However, because we are using the double ampersand here and we have an error in the same in the first command, this will lead that all the other commands will not execute. As you can see, it will here here it will tell you command not found and the calendar is not shown and numbers two are not, is not created. So this is what we call a short circuit evaluation. So once we have an error, all the other guys coming after this error will not be executed. So this will be different, for example, if we do something like this. Date, make directory, numbers two. So here the error is in the second command. So the calendar will be able to show to be uh, the calendar will be executed correctly. However, the date uh, is is is, uh, is an is a typo here. So this will lead that numbers two will not be created. And for example, if yeah, yeah so let's ex execute this. So as you can see, the calendar is shown, but the date is not uh, correct as you can see. So that this will lead that numbers two will not be created. However. If you do it the other way around, so if you change the ordering, so of course, uh, so of course, this will be different. So numbers two will be created because it is the first command here. However, because calendar is not correct, this will not be able to show the date. Okay, as you can see, numbers two is created. Cal is not found and the date is not shown as a result of this. So this is what we call a short circuit evaluation. Okay, so that's it for this video. As you, uh, as you guys learn now, we can combine multiple commands at the same time. Uh, and we, use, we have two methods, the semicolon method and the double ampersand method. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I actually I actually like uh, executing multiple commands at the same time. It makes it makes you more efficient uh, when using the uh, Linux command line. Ciao.